Hi, intro students. Um, this is a solution to your quiz prep. Uh, the first problem was to look at this familiar code from Simulate One Step and be able to explain what every single line is doing in English. Um, something I've noticed that a lot of you are doing is you kind of understand what all of it is doing when it runs all together, but you don't have a good understanding of what like exactly line 147 does all by itself. And in order to understand how the code works, you got to understand how each line contributes to what the whole thing is doing. All right, so here we go. Line 144, this is literally declaring and creating a new array list that will hold rabbit objects. So this creates it, we store it into a variable called new rabbits, and nothing else. Right now the list is empty. All right, line 146, this is a loop that is looping uh, a value i from zero up to whatever this number is, whatever rabbits.size is. And if you remember, rabbits is our array list that holds all the rabbits in the simulation. So if we have a thousand rabbits in the simulation, this is going to loop from zero, and then it'll say i is less than a thousand. Line 147 gets each rabbit out of the list one at a time. So whatever number i is, we're asking the rabbits list to please give us the rabbit object at location i. And now we save that rabbit into a new variable called rabbit. The reason we're doing that is so that we can tell that rabbit to do things. On line 48, we tell the rabbit to run. On line 149, we say if it is not true, that's what the exclamation mark is, if it is not true that the rabbit is alive, that means the rabbit must be dead. On line 150, we're asking rabbits, which is the list of all the rabbits, to remove whoever is at location i. Um, the rabbit at location i is the same rabbit that we got up here. So essentially we're saying if the rabbit is dead, then remove it from the list of all the rabbits. Um, but line 150 is the line that's doing that, and it's very important that we're asking the rabbits object, which is the list, to do the removing. All right, so down here, um, these are a whole bunch of problems that I saw in various people's code. So the first problem here is on line 146. We are looping from zero to the size of new rabbits. But what is the size of new rabbits? How big is that list? Well, if you look at where it got created, it's just two lines up. It gets created on line 144. So if it gets created here and it doesn't have anything in it yet, we're telling our loop now to loop from zero to something whose size is zero. So this isn't going to loop at all. Um, and it makes sense that that shouldn't make any sense because the whole point of this loop is to loop through all of the rabbits that already exist, not to loop through all of the baby rabbits which don't actually exist yet. All right, here's another problem. Um, here on line 148, I'm saying rabbits.run. But if you think rabbits, this is not a rabbit. Rabbits was the list. The list is holding a whole bunch of individual rabbits, but you can't tell a list to run because run is not a command that a list has. So this is different than it was originally because originally the whole point of getting the rabbit object out on line 147 was so that that way we had a rabbit object and we could tell that rabbit object to run. All right, another problem is line 150. Here it says rabbit.remove. Well, what does it even mean to tell a rabbit to remove something? Rabbits can't remove things. Remove is only a command that a list has. So it made sense to ask the list of all the rabbits to remove your dead rabbit, but it doesn't make any sense to ask a rabbit object to remove anything. So something I want you to notice for the quiz, all of these problems are the same kind of problem. The problem is I'm asking a variable to run a method but the variable is the wrong kind of object to run that method. Rabbits can't run the run command because it's the wrong kind of object. Rabbit can't remove can't run the root remove method because it's the wrong kind of object. So that's the kind of thing that you need to be careful of. Um, I think a lot of you aren't reading the code thinking in enough detail. Your eye kind of runs over it and you're like, rabbits run, yeah, that sounds right. Rabbit remove, yeah, that sounds right. There's a huge difference between these things depending on what kind of variable they are. Okay, that's it. Good luck on the quiz.